Okay guys, we're back for part two. We're gonna do the body. And we're gonna, um, I've got about an arm and a half span worth of uh, line. And um, this is from yesterday. Um, back again today. And, uh, sorry my voice just went out. So um, we're gonna be working with these eight beads. There's three on the top and five on the bottom. If you can see that, those five is kind of, I watched the video from yesterday doing this head to make sure that you could see and it wasn't blurry on these beads. Maybe if I take that, uh, that doesn't help any. All right. So anyways, um, and it, and it, 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 it did fine. It's not what I'd rather have, but it's what I do have. So, um, anyway, so you got these five beads here. We're just going to take our line. We're going to make sure it's not knotted or anything. And we're going to go through this middle bead here, right under the nose. And I'm just going to hold them on both ends. I'm going to just pull down to where this is just, you know, making sure I don't uh, pull too much one way or the other so I don't make them uneven. And I'm going to take um, five number two main color. through the fifth one and I just pulled those down and held on to them I'm pulling evenly on both sides so I don't pull one side loose because we're not really we're not it won't be anchored till we get about you know four or five steps in where it's really good and solidly anchored okay so don't worry about it popping out because we're gonna fix that in just a minute and it wants us to go through two. One number two main color, because we're going around this way with these eight. We're not going anywhere else, just around these eight. So we're gonna go through one. I'm gonna hold this while I go through it so I don't pull out too much. So I'm gonna hold the other line while I pull this down so it doesn't pull too much out, okay? And then if it does, I'll pull back just a little bit because it's just, it's very movable. And if you pull too much, you're going to have a lopsided line, and you'll have to change lines, and it won't be any fun, just because it's not. All right. So, but if it if for you, if it works for you to 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 change the line like that, then by all means do it. Um, to do a shorter line, then do it, and just you know tie it off as you go. Uh, for me, teaching purposes, it's easier for you to see exactly what I'm doing without me changing lines and trying to figure out why I'm starting back again. So, all right. So that's line one. Line two is add three beads total. We're going to add one number two main color and two main color. So we're going into the pink now. So we're going to finish off the white for this one and go into the pink. It's one. That's two and three. All right, so I pull my other side down. I'm gonna hold my ends. This is just me. Whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm holding my ends down, and then I'm gonna pull that one over, holding both sides. So I'm evenly pulling, even tension, so that I don't pull one side again um, through more than the other. We're only gonna go through one. So if you have to just kind of push it up because these, these uh, this row right here is pretty tight from um, it being the last row of the head, so it's you know really tight, and so you may have to move maneuver your beads some. Again, even tension and make sure with your monofilament that you've got your ends anchored around your fingers before you start pulling, so it doesn't give you a rug burn or Indian burn whatever. So now we're going to add four main color. If I can find, oh, there it is. I can see. And I'll have a little bit more difficult time than you might, unless you painted your ends too. Um, I don't use, uh, for this, I'm not using the markers because they just bleed off too easily on the monofilament. Um, 
I would on the smaller diameter because um, in smaller beads because this paint is kind of thick and it won't go through um, the beads. It'll stop the monofilament from going through. So I, use, I do use marker then, the permanent marker. All right, and you're gonna pull this down and we're gonna go through one, and this is line three again. And this, we're just using those eight beads. This is where we're coming in. Just, if it pops up, don't worry about it. Just don't go through the loop. Move that out of the way and go through that one. Hold that other line coming out. And sorry about that, guys. I just hit that cord. Move that cord out of the way. And adjust this here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Move this over here. There we go. There we go. All right. Now line four is add three and go through one. Same main color. Three. Two. Three. Add three, go through one. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so we only went through one. Oops. Let three go through one. Yes, okay. Sorry, I got lost there for a moment. Being very quiet today, huh? <laughs> okay, we're gonna add four and go over two. Or, excuse me, go over three. So we're going to add four and go move over three. That's one, two, three. There we are. There's four. <laughs> oh, it just never ends, does it? It's always something. So we're going to pull that down. Now we're going to go over two and up one. So again, don't worry about it popping up. So we're going to go over one. And these lines are probably, um, like I said, they're from doing the last, from doing the head and closing it off. They're going to be a little bit tighter than normal, but Seeing how this just kind of got all discombobulated on itself there. Just okay. Just go through. That's one. We're going to go through three. So two over and one up. So we got to got one more white bead to go through. And it's a little bit, you know, out of the way. But that's why I like those big holes. So you can see you're going through. That's two. And you might have to just finagle this to get to that hole and get through that bead. I don't want to go through both of them. We don't want to do that. Three. Now, I'm going to pull nice and taut so you would tighten up that hole. You don't want a loosey goosey neck there. All right, so that was five. For number six, is going to go add one main color, one number two main color, and go through one. So we're going to add one main color which finishes off our pink side, and we're gonna add one um, number two main color, your second color, to, um, to 
to go into the white side. And I'm going to put this on pause as soon as we do that so I can go take care of the dog. This house is lived in. Lots of pauses. But. Okay, so there's our two. And yes, this neck is supposed to look like a, like a collar almost. It's going to be, you know, wavy. So we're going to go through one. So we're going to go through this first. See, this is where we're coming out of. We're just going to go for this first one. You're always going in line, though, with your um, your last row. So it's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be what you think. So there we go. Right there. Okay, that was line six. And we'll come back and do line seven. We need to take care of the dog. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, line seven is add four number two color and go through one. So, and this is a little bit loose. That's why we keep tightening it up as we go. So we're going to add four of your second color. Four. I'm going to go through one. Pull it down, and then we're just going to go through the one, all right, and that's seven, line eight is add three of the second color and go through two, and it should be the last two uh, white beads that we go through, so we're going to put these on here, and that's our reference point. Okay, you see how it kind of curving around like that belly? We're going to get that curve going. And you're going to do, go through two. That's one. And that's two. And that's what it says, our, it goes to our last two main color beads, and that's our reference point. So we're in the right spot. Now the next one is line nine. And line nine says... Um, you're going to do three of the number two in color and go through two. And this is going to finish this off on the white part and we'll end up going into the pink part again. So, and as I've said before, my house is lived in, so you're going to hear people talking and people being loud. This will be my. This is you're going to go through your um, two, and it'll be your first two main color. And when I wrote these instructions, I kind of I was writing down notes for myself because it, it, I'm not kidding, and you can see for yourself it was really hard to keep up with what she was doing. Some of you may be saying, "Oh, that's not hard at all," but it was for me because sometimes what I see is not exactly what goes into my brain. Same thing with what I hear. Sometimes I can't hear anything, even though I have really good hearing. I just, the words are not, they're, you know, they're jumbled. Okay, so a line 10 will be add three main color and go through one. Two, and let's see, there's three. And I'm so bummed that one ring I made that had the green on it, that was all pretty with the green on it, um, the top fell off somewhere. I'm so bummed out. I don't know where it went. And it just, ugh. It's like, no. Somewhere at Walmart. And I thought it was really on there. So, and I had meant to stitch it, but I didn't. All right, so we're going to go through one. So I, did, I didn't stitch it. I just glued it. Ugh, I was so upset with myself. All right, so add three and go through two. Main color still. Okay, 
these two. Those are garbage people, so sorry. Three. Wow, they're really loud. You don't really realize that until you're trying to do something. And then pull that down. Let those pop out. And sometimes if you just, if it's getting curled up, if you just let go of it and then pick it up again, it'll uncurl itself. Again, only through, uh, actually we're going to go through two on this one. That's one and two. Okay, line 12 is add three and go through two. So I need to go through two. Pull that down. And go through two. And another one. And pull. And pull. Okay. That was line 12. Line 13 is add three and go through one. And go through one. Line thir uh, excuse me, line fourteen is add three and go through three. And a reference point will be there should be two main colors and one number two main color. So we're gonna add three and go through three. Side. This is poking me in the side here. And if it untwists, if it twists, just untwist it. A lot of times, if you just let it go and kind of loosen the tension on it, it'll pop it back into place. So we're going to go through three. And yes, it's, it's pointing downwards so, somewhat, but it's still in the line of the row that we were on. That's the previous row or working row. So that's one, two. Just move them out of the way if you if you have to. Two and one more be three. And it says we should go have gone through two main colors and one number two main color, which is what we did. And it's see how it's just loop, just pull it, pull them both. Okay. Number fifteen is add two main color and go through one. And should be closing off this row and starting a new one. Okay. them and just go through one on the left let's see and yes with the long line you're gonna get hooked on your ears and stuff so you can pull both sides like this nice and taut Okay, number 16 is add one main color and two number two main colors. So, 
one main color, two number two main colors. I didn't have a good hold on those. I'm gonna grab them. Hmm. There we go. Just got a little twisted up on there. Okay, and we're gonna go through two. And this is line 16, so we're gonna go through one. And see how there's a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. Um, don't go any other direction, just on the previous row that we're you know, beating to. Line uh, 17 is add three number two and go through two. Gonna go through two here, making sure even if it loops up, we don't go back to that loop. And it wants to go through all three, but I pulled it out, got it in where I wanted it. Let's pull it snug to the left because we're not doing that loop thing. You can pull it on the left. So that was 17. I'm gonna go through the line. I gotta turn my page here just a minute. Line 18 is gonna be to add. I'm just seeing it away. There we go. Um, line 18 is to add three number two colors and go through two. And it gives us a reference point. I'll give it to you just a second. Three number two. Go through two. And then there goes somebody's phone. Okay, so we're going to go through reference points. Says we're going to go through one number two and one main color, and that's where how we know we're in the right spot. Okay, and then we're going to go to nineteen. Is add one number two and one main color and go through two. We're going to go through two. So, play hold hard to get to this. There we go. There's one. And here's two. And pull. Give it a nice pull. Nice and tight. Okay. See how this is forming out really nicely? Line 20 is add three main color and go through two. Pull those down. Three main color and go through two. Another line's getting in the way. We're gonna go through two. There's gonna get through there. There's one and two. Okay. Line twenty three. At three, go through two. We're just building this body right now. So it's, you know, might be a little boring, but monotonous, I should say, not boring. So,
caught up in there. So we just added three and went through two. Add three, add, uh, excuse me, add two and go through two. Add two and go through two. That's one. That's two. That's two. And then the next one is add three and go through three. And we'll get I'll give a reference point on that one too, it should be. So add three, go through three. One, two, oh, that one going sideways on me. Not that that matters. Three. All right, let's see. Pull that down. Pull that through. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of forming this body starting to form all right and then we're going to go through it says we should go through three so we're going to we're coming down right here we're going to go through one okay now see how you Pete, you could kind of get mistaken some of you that's that's one and then we go Don't let that go in there. That's two. Okay. Now the line goes up. So this three. And that you should be ending in the last main color bead, which is what we just did, that there is. And we did. The next bead is the number two main color bead. That's how you know on that um on that row. We're gonna add two and go through two. And then we'll end this row. So add two. go through two add two go through two that's one and then there's two okay now 25 is add three total beads. It's two main colors and one number two main colors. And we're going to go through two. Okay, so we're going to add um, two main colors plus one number two main colors. So two main color. There's our opening. I'm going to go through two beads. So hold on a moment. And this says, this is the last row of the body. So we went through two and pull. Okay. 26 is add two number two main color and go through three. So we're going to put in less beads and go through more of them. There's two number two. And then we're going to go through three, which should be two number two and one main color that we go through. So there's one, two, whoops, back that on me, two, and so those are two main color, and then um, number twos, and then one main color, so three. So that's our reference point. We know where we're at, and we're in the right spot. Okay, now the next one is add two and go through two, main color. Come 
going around the head there to main color okay and we're going to go through two that's one maybe maybe that's one okay so we have one don't go through that loop sorry about that and then two maybe again having some issues getting through there okay and then it's pull Okay, that was 27, 28 is add two and go through three. Make sure you aren't getting your lines mixed up because they're going to start getting, you know, discombobulated. All right, well, maybe one, oops, one, that is weird. Uh, <laughs> Have y'all heard that my son's celebrating? Whatever. All right. So the add two, go through three. And I'd like you saw how I just let that go. And I'm going to go through the three. We're getting very close to closing this off. And then the next video, I'll do uh, the, um, I'll do the, feet and paws and tail which will be a longer video because the tail takes a while so that's one that's two and one more makes three okay and um you all already know this because I, I will not post any of these videos until they're all done and i have them all posted so you know you go at your own speed 29 is add two and go through three. One, two, and go through three. That's, and I know this looks discombobulated because it's, there's one, it's the scooping. So, because these are like wavy lines, there's two. And one more makes three. Pull those tight. Okay, you can pull your left side uh, more so. And then line 30 is add one. This is the ending of the body. We're going to add one and we're going to go through and tie off. And I'm going to show you what you can do to get ready for the next video if you have enough line because it doesn't take a whole lot to do the feet. So we have this here. And um, if you're looking at this and you're gonna see this point right here, where's my pointer? You see this point right here, this bead right here. If you're looking at it, um, the beads swoop this way, right here like this, and this way. So it's like a, like this but that's your starting point so these two beads here and these two beads here right here one and two are your starting point for your next bead so what i'm going to do with this bead here is i'm going to do with my last strand i'm going to go through that one that would be in my normal if i was going to continue beading that would be in my next one in the line of my circle that i'm making so that's the one and I'm going to go through that one and then I'm going to come around with my other line and I'm going to go through the other one where I can, it's going to be our starting place for my next set of beads. You can tie off if you want to, you don't have to. I want to keep my, um, my line. It'll make it easier for me. So I'm just going to get it on over there. Um, you can make a knot in this and then continue to go if you want to, um, just make it where you're not going to be beading. So you can see me going around with my right strand and there's my white bead, my center bead. And now this is where I'm coming out of right here with my left one. And I can go ahead and just pull tight on that when I, oops, my fingers all, fingers all discombobulated. 
I'm going to pull tight on both of those real tight because I'm crossing through the same strand and take my left strand that, or my right strand that I was continuing through here. I'm going to go to this other bead right here. So now I'm crossing through those two those two beads right there. My nails are kind of this one and this one. And if you look at that, it's there's your center, and you're going to go through these two beads here and these two beads here to make the foot. But this one, I'm on my left one to begin with. So that's where we're going to start in the next video. And I'll see you in a little bit. God bless.